this as gmod underscore first. You can save this as whatever you want. Make sure it does not have any spaces in it. It cannot have any space, spaces, any dashes, any um, characters such as exclamation marks, um, asterisks, um, any uh, brackets, any hashes, anything like that. It has to be either letters or numbers or underscores in this case. That's all. Okay, that's all you really need to use. Um, okay, so let's go save. And no, you're not done yet. No, don't think you're done. You have to compile it. Let's go file, run map. Okay, this is where it'll start to compile your map, making it ready for you to play. BSP, VIS, RAD, they all should be normal unless you have a real detailed map. Sorry, and you just want to quickly get it done so you can test maybe a door or something. Then you can change them all to no or only or fast in this case. Um, HDR is high dynamic rendering, and that is basically the nice, pretty lights, reflections, uh, cube maps, and oh, there's something I forgot to tell you. And and so on. And make sure don't run the game after compiling. That should be ticked. That has to be ticked. Ticked yes. Ticked no is bad. If I find out that someone is asking a question why the game keeps crashing while they're trying to play. <laughs> Trust me, I'll delete your post, mate. I do not want to see any posts on that. I will repeat myself now. It has to be ticked. Alright? I've had people ask me all the time about it. It has to be ticked or it will mess up your map and your game. Alright. Not permanently, just while you're running the game. Okay. So it has to be ticked. Remember that. Okay. So let's go. Okay. Now it's actually compiling the map. Oh, this is basically doing all the lights, it's doing all of the portals which the players will stand on and it's doing all the physics and everything like that. Alright, cool as. So now, usually when it gets to this certain point where it says so many seconds elapsed and then it'll say executing file copied to uh, folder and then what we'll do next is go we need to go straight into that folder. Since we did not set up the um since we did not set up where it's meant to go into the Gmod folder, we have to do it manually. Okay. Here we go. Half Life 2 Deathmatch HL2 MP. Let's go maps. And then it should be in here. Here we go. Gmod first dot bsp. If your map did not come in here, then I take it you'll have a space in your map. You'll have a bracket, an asterisk, or something like that. Only letters or numbers. There should be no spaces at all. There should be no extensions, such as dot zip or anything. Um, and if it's not in here possibly you have leaks or errors in your map. Now you'll have to do a Google search on that because there are so many leaks and errors it's not funny to try and explain right now. It's when I'm already out of time. Okay, so what we do now is right click on that, let's go cut. Or you can copy if you like. And then let's go back, go into Gary's mod folder, let's go to Gary's mod and then let's go to maps. Click, paste, and bam. There we go. There's your map ready to play, ready to go. And let's load up Gary's mod now. And I'll get back to you when I get into it. Alright, here we are again. 
Okay. Put the map in and load it up. Gary's Mod. This is Gary's Mod 10, by the way. This is the purchased version. And if you want the old version, Gary's Mod 9, you'll have to put it into your Source Mods folder. And, okay, so let's see if the map is here. Let's go play single player and then other. Oh, it's already open. Let's go Gmod first. Here we go. Let's click Start Game. Takes a while to load. Okay, and here's our map. Here's our sky. Here's our crowbar and SMG. Now, you would have noticed that when the gun was on the floor, it was white. Okay, now the way that you fix that is add in a env underscore q map. You add that in. And in console, you type in build cube maps, just like that. You push enter, it'll flash a few um, pictures, you know, flash a few pictures of where the cube maps are. And then it may freeze for a few seconds and then it'll reload up your map. Alright, you can only do that in a single player, you cannot do it on multiplayer as far as I know. Alright, well, alright, well, have fun making maps, and remember to get back to me, and don't forget to check out the wireframe forum. Alright, catch you later. See you guys.